Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark here on our cluster series. And today we're just standing up on top of our tower and it looks amazing. This whole project is really, really cool. Of course, it's not done. I definitely need to add more detail into it, uh, but I'm just pretty happy with the way that it looks right now. I really do like it. And it's kind of cool that I could just land up here and just sit here. I don't know. I like it. I, to be honest, I might actually try to get like a taxidermy base up here and then put something cool inside of it. And then we can remove the base because the S plus ones have the option to actually hide the base. So we could just have like a dermis of a creature just sitting up on top of this thing. I don't know. We could probably get that working, but we'll see. Anyway, I actually want to show you something really funny. Um, so we have our basilisk down here, right? Okay. So watch this. <laughs> Look at that. Well, they're in the ground. You and then you freeze them. You get like an ice version of their like kind of... I don't know. You get like an ice silhouette, essentially. I don't know. It's like it's like a hologram or something. It's kind of strange because the creature's technically not there, but the game thinks that this is the only way to freeze it. So it's kind of strange. I wonder if the same thing happens for Reapers. I imagine that it probably would. And for Lavias as well. And what else goes into the ground? Isn't there something else? I can't think of it, but for Lavias, probably, yeah, I would say that this exact same thing happens. That's kind of cool. That would be a cool way of actually trying to locate Prolavias if you're in, an, like, an enemy base or something. Because people use those for, like, hiding things in the ground, right? And then the only other way, I guess, is to really just, like, shoot rockets at the ground or throw grenades or something to damage them. But, uh, yeah, this could actually work if there's Prolavias in the ground, I would say. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. But, yeah, let me know. Same with Reapers. Same with Basilisks. Really, really cool. But, um, yeah. Okay. So today's project is, I think I want to go ahead and actually tame up a Paraceratherium, and I don't even have my gear. Let's go back and get it. Uh, I want to tame Paracers because I was thinking, you know what, we could make it like a really awesome mobile base, and then we could also have uh, a Paracer so we can actually tame a Rock Golem. Now, I've never actually tamed a Rock Golem with a Paracer, but I think at some stage I do want to try that because I always use uh, like a little kind of trap that I, I kind of know how to make. Uh, let me just see. Do I need to repair my armor? But yeah, I always like use the exact same trap thing. Uh, oh, it's in here. Yeah, I do. Definitely. Oh man, super hurt. Um, so I don't know. It could be fun to actually try it out and, and see how easy it is to do with a, with a Paracer. Because like, like I said, I've never done it. So we'll see. But uh, today's video, I'd say we're probably just going to tame up a few of them. And then we can begin breeding at some point. Um, let's see repair you as well oh my jerbo is making noises what does that mean what does that noise mean i don't even remember uh let's see i'm gonna have to wait for whatever event's about to happen what does this one mean if it scratches at the ground i think i don't know what that one means i think if it scratches at the ground it's a heat wave right and if it like wags its tail it's thunderstorm so that's either rain or sandstorm. I'm, so I'm not actually sure. Super cute. I love these Jaboas. People always ask me, like, if I could have one creature in real life from Ark, what would it be? And I would say Jaboa, because, like, that would be really awesome. Like, but not, like, a real-life Jaboa, because they look way different. I want one that looks exactly like this. That would be amazing. Um, I don't know what that means. I'm going to have to figure this out. Like, it's been a long time since I... I've had to like know all of the uh the different cries and stuff that it makes I'm gonna have to like I don't know I'm gonna have to try to remember them let's see you know what we need some cryopods as well although we do have a few on me um so yeah I definitely want to tame some parasers uh there's a couple other creatures that I might keep my eye out for like Lymantria uh we could tame one of those and what else what else spawns here? Sabers as well. That's another good thing that we could try to get. Uh, I think I have my cryopods in here. There we go. Um, oh, you know what? Let's bring our kangaroo with us. Yeah, we could bring him out and maybe scout out with the kangaroo. That could be fun. Uh, so yeah, guys, make sure to hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Really does help me out. Do you appreciate it? Uh, let's fill up on our water as well before I go. Oh my god, so much stuff. But um, yeah, so parasers could be fun. I'm not sure what their kibble is. But uh, we can figure that out once we drop. Why am I trying to throw cryopods in there? That's not what happens. There we go. Um, hopefully this event's not something bad. If it's a sandstorm, that's going to be really annoying. I hope it's not. Alrighty, so we have found a 174 Paracer. 
right down here at the male. Uh, there's another one over there. That's a female, but I don't think it's going to be close enough to... Well, also, that's a low level. I don't think it's going to be close enough to actually run over to us. So I don't think we have to kill it, but we definitely have to kill these uh, Deodons down here. Let me see. Uh, they also take superior kibble as well. And bam. Let's take out these Deodons. Let them kind of get closer and then maybe I can shotgun from here. That's a lot of damage. I must have got a headshot. Yeah. All right. Because my my dude, my, my Procoptodon, I probably would take it out. Take these Deodons out with that. But uh, it's going to be kind of difficult. He doesn't do insane amounts of damage and they do heal each other. You know what? I'll just go down there and take them out with the shoddy. Luckily, we can shoot while mounted, which is great. I love this. There we go. We got it. And then let's get the other one. <laughs> He's running already. What you doing there, buddy? Aw. Goodbye. All right. Let's see. What else is around here? Um, Got to kind of scout the area because taming this thing is going to be kind of difficult. You know what? Let's see. What other creatures do I have on me? Oh, by the way, we hit up two yellow drops. And we got like just some crazy stuff from it. There were yellow drops with a ring, so it's pretty amazing. But, um, oh, we got two levels. But yeah, some awesome stuff. Definitely need to tame some uh, tape jars at some point. That could be fun. Uh, okay, well, I guess the only other thing I have is Night Owl. So let's go ahead and just chuck out Night Owl. Oh, we got another dead on here. Just gotta, like, check the whole area just because this... This map, like, things could just be hiding anywhere. It's really hard to see. It's not like open fields, you know. There's rocks and stuff just everywhere, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and chuck you down and pick you up, Mr. Procoptodon. We still haven't gotten a name for this yet, but that's just because uh, that video hasn't been released. I'm actually really far ahead on recordings right now, which is great. Uh, I'll keep that. And, yeah, I'll leave the rest of the stuff. I have some Mejo berries in my bar right now just because there's so many Pegos around. Uh, maybe we'll end up taming some Pegos. You know what? Just in case they rob me. Let me go ahead and split that up a little bit. Cool. All right. Well, there's another Deodon over there, isn't there? Uh, why do you vex me, Deodons? Get out of here. There's so many of them. <laughs> Come on. Die. All right. We got it. We're good. I mean, oh, uh, you know what? I should have kept my Procoptodon out because then I could shoot... My, uh, the Paraser from the Procoptodon. That would have been a great idea. Oh, crap. No. No. Okay, let's just freeze everybody. No, oh, it didn't work. Help. Oh, God. Three seconds. Okay, I can survive. I think. Jesus, get off of me. Stupid. Pigs. <laughs> Get out of here, bacon. Oh my god, look at this. It's a freaking 174 day on. I totally want that, but I, I can't. Not right now. Parser time. Ugh, alright. When do you have nothing good? <laughs> Let's see. Um, are we safe? Is it safe to go? No more micro raptors? No. This wolf over here. Great. So many creatures around. It's crazy. All right, I'm going to have to fight you until you ball up then. There we go. We're good. Uh, so let's see. You're the one I'm looking for. Let's see if we can stand up here. We probably can. All right. Get going. So uh, there's like there's no easy way to do this. I kind of just have to trank it from... Oh, my God. That, that hit, but it didn't count. I kind of just have to like trank it from up here. Uh, there's no like... I mean, I could make a trap, but that seems like a whole lot of effort. Uh, this is a large creature. Should be pretty easy to to kind of just tame like this. Oh, he's like he's like right up in here. I think he's like stuck on a tree or something. All right, is it getting tranked? Like, is it running right now? Is that what it's doing? I think it might be. Oh, there's a, like a white jerboa right there. That looks cool. We gotta do some jerboa mutations. I think that would be amazing. I might actually try to do that really soon because. I feel like if we're doing a lot of adventures on Scorched, it might be cool to have our little Jerboa buddy. Missed. Alright. Come on, buddy. Shoot him in the butt. 
just waiting for this thing to keel over although i don't think it will yet i think it's gonna take a decent amount of darts to actually take this thing down so even though i have a really good rifle and these are shocking trank darts let's see so it's running i do have my glide suit on me let's just do that let's go after it that didn't hit great that didn't hit either <laughs> what's happening that didn't hit either no i was trying to get up there where's this pago i could hear the pago and there's bugs stupid pago all right let's get this thing hey it's down all right now we gotta move away from it just in case there's thorny dragons and everything bad everywhere oh man we got another pego and it's dead and it's just not even a pego anymore it turned into like a pego noodle or something i don't know let's get up there so this thing's down anyway uh we just got to make sure that nothing hits it that might be difficult let's go over here and get these thorny dragons aggroed I uh, might be able to hop off and just shotgun them before they do anything. Why, why didn't that count? Ah! <laughs> Got it. We're good. You're amazing. Uh, what level are you? Level 12. All right. I've been checking them. I definitely have. Because uh, I, I want... That's a terror bird right there. Please don't tell me you're hitting it. Okay, he hasn't hit it. I don't know why he hasn't, though. I thought terror birds would go after unconscious creatures. Alright, it's dead. Took one hit. Wow. Alright. I think we're good. Oh, man. This, this freaking map is so dangerous. There's so many creatures. <laughs> what is up here? Uh sabers and stuff but i think we we might be okay over here uh what's this is that a archer or a microraptor that's a microraptor so i'm gonna kill it i missed completely oh my god i'm just gonna shoot at it or we could just do this oh i missed that was dumb all right Oh, that didn't kill it? Seriously? Frickin' god Microraptor. It's dead. Level 60. Alright. Let's see. Bam. And... What else is around here? Anything? I think we're good. I think we're good. Alright. I don't think anything hit this thing. I really hope... I thought I just heard something. Freaked me out. Really hope nothing hit it anyway. Uh, so I have superior kibble. It's going to take a decent amount of that. So it's 100%. Sweet. All right. So that's going to take a little bit to tame. And then I do have a cryopod. So I'm going to chuck it inside of that. And we're going to continue looking out here for some more parasers. And then Lymantria. Maybe some sabers. We'll see. But yeah, we'll be back in a bit. Okay. So I found a... High level Lymantria. Let's go ahead and tame this thing. So I might just ice it first. And then we can bola it. Oh, that didn't even work. Oh crap, there's ants here. That's good that I didn't do that. Get out of here. Go. Alright, let's see. Where bets are they? Oh, there you are. Yay, we got it. Alright, let's see. Can I hop off, please? Thank you. Let's try to bola it now. It's a 162 get you knocked out so it shouldn't take too many darts i think one or two should probably almost do it maybe a little bit more i'm not sure it's been a while since i tamed one of these things actually they're really cool looking they're basically just a giant poop poop moth they just poop all over everything and they can't fight or do anything like that so they're really i don't know i've never really found them to be too useful but they're just kind of a tame really <laughs> they're just the only the only easy flyer to get on this map, essentially. Uh, so let's go ahead and up on you and just check the area. 
I know there is some bad stuff around here. Yeah, there's the Deodon. Let's kill you. Alrighty. Uh, what else is there, though? Another Lamantria over there. So, we're not going to be breeding Lamantrias because they, you can't actually breed them. They do lay eggs, though, which is weird. Same with the spider. Two creatures that lay eggs but can't be bred. Uh, I guess scorpions can't be bred as well, actually. Alright, there's a bunch of things over here. A Daedon and a Thorny Dragon. You can kill the two of these things. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting how, like, some creatures in the game just can't be bred but can produce eggs. I don't know. I never really kind of like that too much. And also, I don't even think that their eggs are useful. Well, they weren't useful for anything before. They're probably useful for the new kibbles. Uh, let's see. You... I'm pretty sure that you take regular kibble, though I might actually have to double check that. But yeah, we've got it down. It shouldn't take too long to actually tame. Let me see, because I do have Dodo Dex open here. Um... Mantra... Yeah, it's gonna take... Oh, what level was it? At 162. And we have five times taming. Bam. It's gonna take five kibble. Alright, not bad, not bad. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back in a little bit when this thing's all tamed up. Because I feel like, yeah, this is going to take a little while. So it's definitely an interesting creature to have tamed. Um, <laughs> I've always thought that they were quite derpy looking. And they can they can do one thing, which is this. You just drop a mothball, well, a bunch of them, and then kind of just like let an explosion happen. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Some people find that very useful. Uh, I personally really don't. I mean, like, there's probably some good uses for it. You know, you could drop a few of them as well. Go down and land for some stam because we probably need it. <laughs> I don't know. They're okay. They're okay. Uh, they don't really have that great a weight, though. That's why I have my snow owl following me. I actually had to cryopod the snow owl, and then I realized that we don't have the weight, so I was like, all right, we have to take them back out now. Um... You could just drop a bunch of those and slow down creatures. It could be useful if you're like, I don't know, if you're taming something big and fast. Could be. I don't know. Oh, my snow owl's on the ground. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's go. I think he like landed on me or something. All right. Well, we have to stop for some stam anyway. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> it's just kind of a creature that I needed. We can go ahead and get a dermis of it actually. Let's see. Uh, oh, my thing's inside of here. Um, no, oh, it's on my hotbar. I'm an idiot. Bam. All right, we got our dermis. Amazing. Alrighty, so we're going to continue to look for some, uh, some parasers. So yeah, we'll be back in a bit when we find something. We need, what do we need again? I think we need a female. Yeah, we got a male, didn't we? All right, so we need a female, decent level. And yeah, I'll bring you guys when we find that. Oh man, such a nice find. We found a 180 female. <laughs> oh, I actually, I actually like misread what it was for a second. Like I, I read it, I was like, oh, it's an 18. And I went over to kill it and I was like, oh, wait a minute. No, it's not. I almost, I mean, I would have noticed because it wouldn't have died like almost immediately, but still, <laughs> could you imagine if I had to kill that thing? I'd be so annoyed. I mean, sometimes when I kill max levels, I'm okay with it. Because if I'm not looking for that creature and I kill a max level of it, I'm not too bummed. How that? No, that's Ark. Why? That's not my owl. That's air. That's my owl. This is air, Ark. Why is the hitbox back there? Don't even understand. <laughs> oh, all right, whatever. We're just gonna we're just gonna deal with that. So yeah, here is the 180, and it's a female, which is exactly what we need. Absolutely perfect. Ah oh, man, I love these nice finds. Have okay, that one missed. Sweet. All right, so I don't know how safe this area is. Actually, probably should have done a little bit more scoping around, but we're okay. Should be able to knock this thing down and then just try to protect it. Just kill anything near it. Um. We could always just, like, let it wake up if it does get hit, but that would be a pain. Oh, man. Come on. Yes, get stuck. Okay, I thought you were going to get stuck in, like, a rock or something. That would have been good. Uh, so we might have to glide after it as well. Let's go ahead and do this and this and this. Let's see. Oh, it's starting to turn. Ugh! 
Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh god, I'm so sorry. No, no. I didn't mean to. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna anger the other one. Oh, that one's gonna be after me too. This is not fun. Get away. All right, now we got a Microraptor to deal with. At least I think. I don't know if he's gonna come after me. I'm gonna just shoot him anyway. <laughs> All right, I think we could probably leave the Microraptor. Let's go after our Paraceratherium though. Right in the butt. Oh, I can hear Pegos. That's never good. Oh, go away. Stupid Pego. Uh, let's see. Oh, another Microraptor. Jesus, get off of me. No. There, we got him. That one was mate boosted, though. I did notice that. All right. Let's get you down then, buddy. Oh, we got... You know what? Can I just trank you out? No. Oh, that one hit, but it didn't count. It's on his forehead. Oh, oh God. He broke all of my armor. No. Oh, okay. That's not how shooting works. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to mount the snow owl. Where is it? Gone. Is that it there? There it is. All right, it's dead. <laughs> this is such a messy taming day. We're just like flying all over the place. Oh, I saw the blood. It didn't count though. Come on, buddy. Go down. Oh, almost shot. I almost shot at it there. I was like just about to. Also, at some point, I lost my Jerboa, and I don't know when. Um, but then I noticed it wasn't on my shoulder, and then I noticed that uh, a message popped up, like, immediately after, saying that it got killed. Oh, and I just killed that one. Oops. Yeah, this is probably too powerful to shoot at a Jerboa. All right. Let's go over and um, drop some kibble in. Uh, so it's going to take roughly, like, 16, I think. So we'll put 17 in, that's fine. Uh, let's have a little look though. So I need a new Draboa, so we have to find one of those. They're everywhere though, so it shouldn't be too hard. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to like, when we do Draboa breeding, we're gonna have to get like two perfect ones and then just kinda, is that one there or is that the dead one? I think that's the dead one. We're going to have to get like two perfect ones and then just like breed a bunch of like babies from that and cr just cryopod all of those because yeah, <laughs> we're going to need just a lot of replacements uh, just in case I lose the original one. Is that a Jaboa there? That is not a Jaboa. Okay. I don't see any. But yeah, I noticed it just when a thunderstorm was happening. I was like, what the? I didn't hear any noise from this. And then I noticed that I didn't have a Jaboa with me anymore. So that was... That was annoying. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, there is a yellow drop up here. There's also a raptor. Hello. Oh, wow. One shot. Nice. Ooh, we're having some weird, like, framey, pausey kind of bits occasionally on this map. Don't really get that anywhere else, though, so I don't know. It's weird. Uh, we got a yellow drop coming down. I've picked up so much epic loot from these drops. I dropped a lot of it back to the base and the first parser as well but yeah we're getting a lot of amazing things um so yeah i think we're probably good to go i'll bring you guys back once we have this thing up and then we gotta find another 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 words another jaboa <laughs> all right there we go we got our parasers uh so this one here is a female uh let's copy that bam and then this one here is the male so maybe i'll start breeding them at some point here i don't know we could probably like breed them together right now and i'll finish off the breeding between videos maybe so let's just get them together uh, unfortunately i'd have to recrowd them to get them into these pens so let's put them over here or i guess i could pick up the walls but then i'd have to change the transparency and stuff yeah whatever we're just gonna put them over here and bam sweet all right so maybe oh that's wandering i'm too used to this like the last few years of playing arc and i was hitting enable wandering to start them breeding and now i have to hit this i'm sorry okay 
I'm just too, I'm just too used to it and then I just forget <laughs> let's see so let's pick that and you know what let's actually drop a bunch of our uh canteens into this thing over here just because we don't need to carry that many we keep getting them from the drops but I oh what I have even more I didn't even realize all right so we'll leave four of them in there I suppose um, and then I have a, a, just a bunch of blueprints here. It's crazy. You get so many amazing blueprints and weapons and stuff on this map. Like, the loot is fantastic here. Um, like, none of it's in insane quality, like, but it's really handy. Uh, I actually did get this, though, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, super awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the kibbles back. Bam, bam. I'm just gonna chuck that in there, too, just before I forget. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna let these things breed together. Um, in the meantime, here's how many thorny dragon eggs we have. 125 so far. I'm gonna wait till we have probably, like, 400, and then I'm gonna start hatching them in a video. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna take a little bit longer. <laughs> oh, man. So, those things will be breeding constantly, and then we'll probably do, like, breeding on these at some point soon. But I do want to combine the best stats, so let's actually take a look at that. So... This one has the best health. Uh, this one has the best stam. Weight and melee is the next two. Wait, what was the melee on this one? I think they have the exact same melee. Yeah, they do. All right, so you have the best stam and the best weight, and you have the best uh, health, and, well, you guys have the exact same melee, so that's actually really handy. So I just have to get all of the stats from this one besides the health, and then get the health off of the other one. So... Uh, female and then we'll go health wait no it doesn't have health it has stem uh, weight and melee and then we'll just go ahead and copy that make it easier and then we have to name you health and then male there we go sweet all right so we're gonna just continuously breed them until we have a baby with all of those stats Looks like they're about to go into the gestation process, so that shouldn't take too long. Uh, oh, it's going to take a minute for it to pop out. That's not too bad. But uh, in the meantime, I actually thought of a great name for our basilisk. A name that we've been using before. Let's go all the way over and grab it. Can we not whistle you when you're in the ground? Apparently not. All right. So we've been using this name. I think we used this name like three or four times so far on our basilisks. But it's a great name. I like it. Cyanide. So cyanide is a type of poison. It's a type of poison when if you... If you get it into your system, you're going to be dead in like two minutes, I think. It's something like that. Something really, really quick. But uh, they actually... What is it again? Like... <laughs> I think like secret agents or something. I don't even know. But like people who would be like posing as like... Uh, I don't know, spies or whatever they'd actually have like a capsule of that in their tooth and uh, they'd break it if they ever were caught so then it would just kill them so they'd have like a little capsule in their tooth and they'd kind of just like break it somehow i don't even know how but uh and then it would just instantly kill them so they can't tell anything uh which is just crazy but yeah cyanide it's a great name for a snake let's see uh so you are higher oh wait no you're not higher level than your parents so you definitely don't have all the stats Yep, this one here is poop. I will get rid of it off cam. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm so mean. All right. Let's go ahead and chop you up then. Oh, you're so sad. Look at you. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to continue to let these things breed. And then uh, I'll get a male and a female with the exact same stats. And then we'll breed those together for some mutations. I probably won't be stacking mutations crazily on them. I just want to get like a fully mutated one and I do believe parasters only have like two or three color regions so it should be pretty quick in terms of getting uh, a bunch of colors um, from the parents or whatever uh, I can't think right now <laughs> but anyway yeah so I think that's gonna be it for today I'm gonna fix my pants and uh, yeah if you guys did enjoy this video go ahead and hit the like button if you want to see more like this you can of course subscribe and we'll be seeing you in the next one when I'm wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs>